guys, Mrs. Novello here, and this is day two of our clay gargoyle. So yesterday I built the head and the form and the body, and today I'm going to portion out my clay for my features for today, which include arms, legs, and wings. So with my leftover clay, I'm going to go ahead and divide that in half. But before I divide it, I want to make sure that my clay is remoistened. So I'm going to dip my hands in water. And then with that water, I'm going to re wedge my clay and work that water through about five to ten times, just depending on. If at five times of wedging you see cracks onto your clay, go ahead and dip your hand in water and re wedge water through five more times, and hopefully it'll be nice and moist. So once you're done moistening and wedging your clay, you're going to divide that leftover clay into two equal sections. One of these sections is going to be designated for wings, and this section here is going to be designated for arms and legs. So what I'm going to do to make it simple is I'm going to divide this into four equal parts. When you're creating features, you want to try and keep everything as balanced as possible. And so I have four equal pieces, and from this point, now what I can do is I can begin crafting my legs and arms and designing what they want to look like. So I'm going to start off by rolling these because that's the easiest way to get them into a form that looks like an arm or a leg. Then what I'm going to want to do is decide where I want to position these. I might want this coming off to the back. I may want it coming to the side. Um, so I'm just going to make a quick decision and I'm going to place them right here and remember I'm going to score this area where I'm going to attach it with some cross hatching and then for my piece that I'm going to add I'm going to score this as well. I'm going to get my fingers wet with water, moisten it and then I'm going to attach and fuse. So I'm going to do the same to the other side. That's already scored so I'm going to score this side and moisten it and fuse it. And I, when I fuse it, I want to make sure that I don't have any seams showing, so I want to really smooth that out. And then I can kind of position or form the shape of the arms in a way that looks like a position, like how arms would normally look. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing to the legs. I'm going to add them wherever I want them on my gargoyle um, using the same method of scoring, slipping, and fusing. For my leftover uh, clay, I'm going to go ahead and smash that down. And I'm going to smash it down because I need to have a certain level of thickness for my wings. So the wings should be about a half an inch thick. If they're any thinner, they'll be flimsy and they will not, they will not um, last. They'll break in the kiln. So once I smash this out to about a half an inch thickness, then I'm going to take a tool and simply just cut it in half. And from there, I can develop the appearance of my wings. What I want to do before I develop the appearance is kind of have a general idea of where I'm going to place them. Um, and, send, and then from there, I can decide if I want to just attach them as is or not. These look pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and score and slip. And score and slip where I'm going to fuse it. Dip my hand in water, get that wet, run water here, there, fuse it, and then I'll do the same to the other side. Once my wings are attached, I can add texture, um, which you're all going to be required to do, making sure that you have nice, good texture on to the wings so that they look realistic. Um, wings usually have feathers. There's lines, you can shape them even more. So for the end of class today, you should have arms, legs, and wings.